Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here, and we have some sad news out of the state of California. Uh, we've gotten word that back on October 23rd, a 37-year-old El Dorado County, California sheriff's deputy by the name of Brian Ishmael uh, was tragically shot and killed in the line of duty. And uh, furthermore, we've learned that the individuals who've been charged in said shooting are a couple of illegal aliens. That's right. A 20-year-old by the name of Juan Carlos Vasquez Orozco and a 22-year-old by the name of Ramiro Bravo Morales. A couple of illegal aliens uh, said to be responsible for the shooting death of this 37-year-old sheriff's deputy out in the state of California. A and this is just so wrong in multiple levels. It's wrong, of course, because you had uh, an innocent U.S. citizen being killed. And, of course, uh, our thoughts and prayers go to the family and friends uh, of Mr. Ishmael during this incredibly difficult time. A but it's also incredibly frustrating because this death was totally preventable. Keep in mind, we're talking about a couple of illegal aliens that are said to be responsible for this shooting death. These are people who are here in total defiance of our U.S. federal immigration law. They shouldn't be in the United States. They have no legal right to be in the United States. They should not have even been in the position uh, where they were able to go killing some innocent U.S. citizen as they did. I, I mean, none of this should have been even happening because these people should not be in the United States of America, and they wouldn't be in the United States of America if we would ensure that that all of our borders are meaningfully secured. Uh, you know, it's common sense that we secure uh, our borders, especially our U.S. southern border at this time of invasion where you have all of these foreign nationals illegally entering the United States without end. Securing our borders, it's not like it just keeps Republicans safe. No, it keeps Democrats safe, independents safe. It does keep Republicans safe. It keeps people of all political affiliations safe in our own shared country, the United States of America. So it's common sense that we would go securing our borders in a meaningful way to keep all of us safe here in the USA. But sadly, you have a lot of folks in powerful positions, a lot of politicians, uh, Democrats and rhinos alike, who refuse to meaningfully secure our borders here in the United States uh, because they see some sort of a politically advantageous reason for not securing our borders. Uh, I mean, in the case of the Democrat Party, it's because they perceive each and every illegal alien that enters the United States as a future voter of their Democrat Party. Uh, they're putting their own selfish political ambitions above the interest of the well-being of all of us here in the United States. And it's incredibly sick that that's happening. And it just goes to, you know, show the point every time that we have a case like what just happened out in California, where a U.S. citizen is attacked, in this case killed, by illegal aliens. It just reminds us, look, this is happening because we have politicians in this country, Democrats and rhinos alike, who refuse to put the well-being of the people they're supposed to represent, the well-being of the country they live in and are supposed to give a damn about, they are totally unwilling to put those things above their own political ambitions. It's incredibly frustrating. This never should have happened out in California. None of these cases of U.S. citizens being harmed or killed by illegal aliens should ever happen. We all need to come together and we need to meaningfully secure our borders before there's another, even one more, of these senseless deaths at the hands of an illegal alien. And sadly, out in the state of California, the Democrats that run the state, they don't give a damn that this is happening in their own backyard. You've got the lefty governor, Gavin Newsom, who's proudly overseeing a sanctuary state, which means that they coddle illegal aliens. Uh, they work to ensure that illegal aliens are not punished for the crimes they've committed. And what ends up happening? One of their own citizens, a law enforcement officer who's trying to keep people in the state of California safe, ends up dying. Shame on all those lefties out in California for their damn sanctuary policies, and shame on all of the folks in this country uh, who are working to ensure that our borders are not meaningfully secured. It's absolutely appalling what happened out in California. It's appalling every single time that a U.S. citizen is killed by an illegal alien. And now let's cut the crap. Let's all come together and make sure this is the last time that uh, a U.S. citizen is killed by one of these foreign nationals who illegally enter our country. Uh, this has life or death consequences, and it's time for meaningful action. We need to come together and secure our borders. And that's all the time that we have for today. John Muir Show, each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Until next time. I'm out.